Jamie, you chicken! Bark, bark, bark. Very funny. I'm killing myself laughing. Think quick! Ugh. I am so bored! How many days till Laserland opens? Two. So what do you want to do today? I know. Let's go bug the Dorfmans. The Dorkmans are still away on vacation. Everyone is, except us. And them. Let's play Welcome Wagon. Moving in. Well, duh. <gasps> Yours? What a pretty little bicycle. Nice colors. What are you, four years old? I'm almost nine. <laughs> that figures. <laughs> I was afraid Marianne would have trouble making new friends, but it looks like she's found two already. Ah, yes. Leo and Jamie. I know them well. They'd rather tease the new kid on the block than make her feel welcome. But she'll be all right, because if those tease artists don't want to be her friend, I'm sure that someone will come along who will. Someone or something. <laughs> Time to move the piano. <sighs> but Dad, I like my old room and my old school and all my old friends. Now, now, your friends weren't that old. You know what I meant. Don't worry, Marianne, you'll make new friends. Hey, what about those boys you were talking to today? I don't like them. Well, you'll see. Things will get better before you can say boo. <laughs> Speaking of boo, where is she? I put her right in my bed so she wouldn't get lonely. Good idea. Well, good night, sweetheart. Good night, Dad. today. It's kind of exciting because I have to go to a new school and meet new friends. But my dad says I will, and he's usually right about stuff like that. Don't be afraid. 
It's just one of those dumb boys. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Nice kitten. Her name's Boo. I get it. Like a ghost. I have a dog named Waldo. That's a good dog name. Yeah. He's like... Jamie! What you doing? Hanging with Mary Ann? No. I was just looking at the kitten. <gasps> no, don't! Are you crazy or something? Who are you talking to? Uh, nobody. I just... Oh, I know. She must be talking to her imaginary friend. Isn't that sweet? What is he? A big bunny? Or a fairy princess? <laughs> I'm not sure what he is, but he is real. He only shows himself to people he likes or people he doesn't like. Listen, Squirt, I don't like being threatened. You know, I'm not surprised. An ugly little geek like you can only expect to make imaginary friends. Are you coming, Jamie? Or are you staying to play with your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> They're just being boys. I'm okay. I don't know about you, boils and ghouls. But I don't think Mary Ann's imaginary friend is going to let her get pushed around much longer. After all, a fiend in need is a fiend indeed. Waldo, we gotta get home. Man, rise and shine. Leo, <gasps> Jamie's not feeling well. I'm just about to take him to the doctor. Come on, you big faker. You can't be sick. Your dad's driving us to Laser Land. Leave her alone. What was that? Leave her alone. You're delirious. Later, man. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leo, I thought you were going to Laserland. Jamie's caught some weird flu, so his dad won't take us. Can you drive me there? Sorry, son. Mom's got the car all day. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, I've been waiting all summer for this. It's just not fair. Leave her alone. I bet he meant freak girl. That's who he meant. His girlfriend. Well, girly, my plans are ruined, so I've got to find myself some alternate amusement.
Marianne, lunch. Can we eat out here? Sure, why not? Come and give me a hand. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stay still, kitty. Okay. Any moment now. Boo? Boo? Bingo! Boo? Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> oh, this is sweet! <laughs> That's right, kitty. It's just you and me tonight. Time to go inside, sweetheart. We'll look again tomorrow. Bill? Do you think she'll be okay? Outside all night? I'm sure she'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> Man, they've been out looking for you for hours. I should have wrote a ransom note or something. Huh? Hey, sport. There's a great old horror flick on The Late Show. Do you want to watch it? Um, no thanks. I'm not in the mood for horror tonight. Suit yourself. Good night. That's weird. I could have sworn somebody was out there. <laughs> Please, you've got to find Boo. She's lost. She doesn't know this neighborhood. You'll find her, won't you? And bring her back safe? I told you I'll take you back tomorrow, okay? Now go to sleep.
to hurt me. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Good name. Um, um, Marianne? I, uh... just wanted to say thanks. You know, for the other night and all. We just wanted Boo. I know. I'm sorry for taking her. And for being so mean. It wasn't very nice. That's okay. Just don't do it again. <laughs> Believe me, we won't. Our folks came down pretty hard on us for it. No laser lamp for a month. You know, my dad has a lot of neat video games. Do you want to come in and try them? Well, all right. As long as it's okay with your friend. Oh, he's not here. He had to leave. I guess he knew I'd make new friends. Stranger things have happened. And just in the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> so we just left, huh? Where do you think he's gone? I don't know. But wherever he is, I'm sure he's making new friends. Go on. Go home. You're too smart to play with us. Hello, what is your name? Ah, oh, it looks like someone has found a new friend. And some new enemies. Let this be a lesson to all of you bullies out there. Teasing hurts kids on the inside, but their imaginary fiends can hurt you on the outside. <laughs> well, that's our gripping yarn for today, kiddies. Until next time, creep out of trouble because be watching. <laughs> <laughs>